All right, guys, I got a good one for you today. It is our barbecue chicken flatbread, and you probably can't hear right now, but it is about to rain. The thunder is rolling in. This is how quick, oh, there it is. This is how quick this recipe is. I'm gonna get her done in about 10 minutes, start to finish. Let's get to cooking. For me is frozen chicken. I love getting the grilled and ready chicken strips that are already seasoned. I do add a little extra seasoning to it, but when you're in a pinch and you got to cook something real fast like today, this is the way to go. And honestly, it's cost effective. I like to get these on BOGO as well. That should be about plenty. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to quickly steam this. Remember, this is already cooked. So we're just simply heating it up. I'm going to dome it here probably needs about five more minutes and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you just how to build this delicious barbecue flatbread. I'm gonna take the dome off of this because I want my chicken just to get a little crispy now that it's actually warmed up. All right, we're gonna build this flatbread here. I just got my favorite barbecue sauce. You only really need a little bit of it. Today I'm using my favorite, which is the sugar-free, but you don't have to. I'm just trying to be a little bit healthier these days. And we're just going to rub it around get all sides here. You don't want to put too much sauce or too little. You don't want it swimming as I'm adding more sauce to it because I'm a sauce queen. All right, here. So that is looking really good. Then we're just going to add our cheeses. Now leave this to your imagination. Um, you can use whatever cheese you want to. Today I'm using mozzarella because it's what I had already in my refrigerator and I love a good mozzarella cheese on our pizza. So mozzarella cheese. I've seen people use pepper jack, Cheddar, provolone, TJ did something weird. He like added some weird cheeses to his. Can't really remember what it was, but nonetheless, I'm sure it was delicious. I don't <laughs> add anything weird to my <laughs> All right, so super easy. And the ingredients, toppings are also uh, very flexible. Whatever you have in your refrigerator, if you have green peppers and uh, if you don't have regular tomatoes, like aroma tomato that I'm using, and you have cherry tomatoes, feel free to use this. I like to call this my clean out the refrigerator pizza. Now we're going to add our fresh ingredients, which is going to be red onions. I slice them pretty thinly. My husband's really weird about the thickness of his red onions. I like them like good chunks and he wants them like shaved thin. So we're doing a little merry of both. Okay. Now I've used Roma tomatoes just because it's a little hardier of a tomato, a little thicker of a tomato and easier to work with, especially when it comes to a flatbread. You can use sliced tomatoes if you wanted to, like I said, cherry tomatoes. It's really up to your imagination here. And you see how quick it is because you can probably see my hair in the wind picking up because the weather is coming. So our chicken is going to be done. So I'm going to put these on my griddle top. I already have it on low here behind me making sure I've got it on low. I'm gonna move my dome out of the way here. And then I'm just gonna pick these up, scooch it over. I've already pre-oiled my griddle, so there's a little oil down. Warm those up, take our chicken off. Got a beautiful crisp to it, just, just that few minutes there. Okay. And we're gonna just do a rough chop on this. And then we're going to add it back to our pizza. And of course, in the comments, I'm sure you're going to see, is that really a pizza? Is it technically a pizza? It, it honestly, it's the great debate here. For me, this is my busy mom weeknight pizza. When I don't have time to really uh, make a homemade, homemade pizza, I don't want to use my oven. I want to do something all in one where it's less cleanup. This is really the name of the game for it right here for me. So yeah, this is the pizza in my eyes. All right, so this chicken is still really hot. Probably going to just bring this over to my griddle. And then I'm gonna add a few pieces. And like I said, make this up to your own imagination. You can do ground beef if you wanted to. You could do, what else could you do? You could do pork. You could do pulled pork. That would be delicious for a barbecue flatbread. Really, you just want to warm up the naan, but you want to get a good crisp underneath and you're going to want to melt all this cheese. So I'm simply going to just add some water on the corners here. Not too close because you don't want your bread soggy. 
And then I'm gonna close my lid, but if you have a dome, feel free to use that. If you have um, a warmer rack, you can use that as well. Just a couple minutes, and then we're gonna top it off with some fresh arugula and my special sauce. And you'll see what I mean, because it really does add that extra flavor you're gonna wanna want. All right, it is looking and smelling good. Yeah, it's done. So we're gonna bring it on over here to our cutting board. So really all I'm doing is adding the final toppings to this and cutting it. It's that simple, y'all. Okay, so today I'm using arugula. I love the taste of arugula. My husband, he's weird and he doesn't like arugula, but you can use whatever you want, really. This just really adds a beautiful color and a good crunchy texture to the top of your pizza here. Now, the reason why I'm doing it now versus putting it on the griddle is for me, I like the crunchiness of the raw arugula. Uh, to me, when you cook it down, it gets a little too soapy. Some people say like cilantro tastes like soap. That's how I feel with arugula if it gets too hot. <laughs> but it'll naturally heat up because the flatbread here is hot. So right now I'm adding just this topping, which is one of my absolute favorites on any kind of pizza. And that is a balsamic glaze, which you can essentially find anywhere. These look absolutely fabulous. My mouth is salivating. Um, I like to cut these in four ways. You don't even have to cut it at all if you didn't want to, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut all oh, that crunch. You hear that crunch? I'm gonna cut it four ways. You can also cut it into little slices as well. More of like an hors d'oeuvre. Oh yeah. All right. I'm gonna go with this one because it's really calling my name here. Got a little bit of everything. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Mm. 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 The baby is a like in this one. So, so good. 10 minutes, y'all. That's it. 10 minutes. It's okay to use that frozen, that frozen pre-cooked chicken every once in a while or anytime you want to, really. Perfect, perfect for appetizer, for a weeknight meal, for a weekend poolside meal. The endless toppings, you can pick whatever you want to. This is how I do it. So just remember, keep it quick, keep it simple, and most importantly, you gotta keep it delicious. My name's Taylor Mock, and I will see you on the next episode. Cheers. Mm. Mm.